Right, so before I get into this video, I want to give you a little tease of what I'm going to be doing in another video, which is I'm going to be going through, I'll be analysing this document here, which is a remote viewing, a remote viewing write-up document from CIA. Now the reason this is really interesting is because as you scroll down, it's a very big document. There are actually some examples, apparently. Now, I haven't looked completely into this, but there are apparently some examples where they show a picture and then they show like what they show what the subject drew without having seen. Look, look at this. So there's a picture of Grant's tomb, which is a target picture, and then the remote viewer supposedly drew something like this, where you can see the similarities between the dome, the dome, and then the pillars going down like that. So it's obviously a very novice, very basic picture. But they also described being outdoors, large area, shady, lots of trees. Which so the reason I'm looking at that document is because originally I was going to do a video basically saying why remote viewing has never been proven and is complete nonsense. And in my research I found this document. Now I'm not saying remote viewing is real, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is I've never seen this document before and it's quite a long document. How many pages is this? It's like it's like 60 or 70 pages and it's very detailed. It's apparently an unclassified release from the CIA uh, in the public library. So I'm going to go and read through that document and let me know what I think of it. But for this video, I just wanted to say thank you for your support. Thank you for the subscribers and the comments. So today's question, by the way, I get a lot of questions from people who have various like various diseases and sleep uh, problems and things like that. Um, and I am going to answer them, but at the same time, I'm not qualified to talk about health matters and especially mental health matters. I'm not qualified to do that. Obviously, you need to speak to a therapist if you have a question regarding a disorder, for example, schizophrenia or other sorts of things that affect your mental condition. If you have a question regarding those and lucid dreaming, I could answer, but again, I'm not qualified and I'd rather not give you bad advice or mislead anyone or give information that I'm not completely sure about. So I'm going to try and keep these questions to things uh, away from the sort of mental health area just because I don't feel confident to answer them and I'm not qualified to do so. Just thought I'd say that in case you were going to send in a question similar to the ones I've been receiving. I might actually just answer a few questions in this video. So this is a question from Hugo and he says, I loved, I'd love to do the wild method but I'm just scared of everything happening at night and I just I don't really want to do it because I'm scared of it. Now. Yes, the, yeah, sleep paralysis can be scary, it can be a difficult experience to go through, especially if you're not used to it or if you don't expect it, but that shouldn't put you off lucid dreaming. This is becoming sort of like a, an old thing now, you know, sleep paralysis is to be expected. As a lucid dreamer, you know, you're going to experience sleep paralysis as you fall asleep because you're, you're trying to keep your mind awake while your body falls asleep. And obviously to go through that process and to experience that, you're going to have to be aware of your sleep paralysis as it's happening. There's no way around that really. If you're doing a wild, at least if you do other techniques, you can avoid it, of course, because you're just gonna fall asleep and the sleep paralysis will happen when you're asleep anyway, so you won't notice it. But if you're doing a wild or maybe a wake back to bed or that sort of technique, you're gonna experience sleep paralysis. You shouldn't be scared of it because it's just what you expect. You know, you should know that when you have sleep paralysis, it's like, it's the next step it's a step before having a lucid dream. So just be positive about it, keep a mental attitude where you know it's a step in the right direction and just be patient. Next question from 1000Q. Are binaural beats effective, as in do they work? Now, from my experience, they do. Um, I've noticed that my I do feel a definite change in my state, much like if I were to meditate for longer than 20 minutes or so, you will feel a definite difference in your state and your awareness than before you started the meditation. And this is a change in your brainwave patterns and the actual brainwave state you're in. Now, I've noticed that certain binaural beats do absolutely nothing, especially that some of the free um, ones on YouTube, you can get high quality ones on YouTube, I'm not saying that, but I find that usually it's the bigger companies that have actually spent you know, several years producing binaural beats that know how to make them properly. I mean, who would have thought, right? You know, a big company that actually does this every day is gonna produce higher quality products and binaural beats than some guy in his room. Um, so I think if you want to get results from binaural beats, yes, they can work really effectively, but you need to you need to respect it as an audio product. You know, you wouldn't just download anything you can find for free and expect it to be the same quality or better than something you might have to pay for, which I know a lot of you probably don't want to hear that, but it's like it's a product like anything else. You pay you get what you pay for. Um, 
So while there is good free stuff out there, there is also better paid stuff out there. Um, and that's always been my experience, especially um, just off the top of my head to name drop a few, I found that Bliss Coded Sound are really good, although they're not vinyl beats, it's slightly different. Um, I found Inora to be quite good, and also the Unexplainable Store have made some good vinyl beats as well. There's also a few new producers like Gisalbi and a couple of other names as well. I think there's a few in the description as links, but I can't remember. Um, but do your own research, you know, read your reviews, read people's stories, and listen to their free samples and see if they make a difference to you. I know that especially if you listen to the samples of uh, Bliss Coded Sound, you will feel a difference even from the free sample. And that's something you can find in the description as well, by the way. So yes, thousand, thousand Q, if that is your name, that is my answer to the question about binary Beat. And I think I'm gonna cut it there because this video is getting a bit long. So, oh, what do you think about this hat, by the way, guys? This is um, this is a hat from Gisalbi, who also made binary Beats, like I said. But it's kind of cool because this is like um, this pyramid is meant to represent awareness. So obviously you start down here and then you go up to the higher point of awareness, which I assume is the state of being lucid. I don't know. I haven't really asked the guy. Anyway, just for those of you who are wondering why I always wear a hat, it's because I'm growing my hair. I'm trying to get a man bun, and at the moment we're not even we're not even halfway there yet. So the hat's going to stay for a while until my hair is long enough to be tied up, and that's what we're doing today. Done. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.